Hey guys, today I wanted to do a little bit of modeling um, in SolidWorks and I wanted to make it a, uh, a short series of, um, of the process from modeling uh, to rendering and then uh, post-processing in Photoshop. Um, so I'm just going to be uploading one episode um, a day and uh, let's get to it. So as you can see, this is my Instagram page and <clears throat> I'm pretty active. Um, the Insta the Design Workout Instagram account have uh, this tape dispenser um, challenge for this week. So I wanted to design a tape dispenser. Uh, now it's not just any tape dispenser. Uh, it looks a little different. Um, we'll get to it in a second. Uh, so I looked at some tape dispensers here. Um, you know, they all look the same. Um, it's just, you know, you just put something on top of the... Um, your, your desk and then you use it. So I was, I was thinking maybe I can merge, um, you know, the classic tape dispenser with the handheld tape dispensers. Um, but the handheld ones usually come in like um, these big sizes. It's not really for the small tapes um, like this. This is, this is just an electrical tape that I'm just using for reference. But, uh, you know, the big handheld ones, they don't, um, they don't accept uh, the, small, the, the small tapes. Uh, so I was thinking, how about uh, we design a tape dispenser that can be both uh, placed on top of a desk and um, also can be used as a handheld device. I like this. I like the the finish of it. Um, so I came up with some ideas, and this is the final design that I came up with. It's very simple. It's a uh, I don't know what 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 does it look. Like? It just looks familiar. Uh, so let's get to it. I opened my SolidWorks. Uh, we're gonna go to new and let's see. Let's do part. <clears throat> okay, a brand new um, SolidWorks here. Brand new file. Just gonna enable all those uh, three or uh, show them. Um, so what we want to do, we want to model half of the model, 3D model half of the model, and then we want to uh, mirror it. So um, since this can be cut from here, so we're gonna we're gonna have to model the the, the either the right side or the left side of the model. <coughs> so we're just gonna go to. This plane here, <clears throat> I can almost hear my professor, Professor Chow, telling me to upload my orthographic drawings first. Um, this is the front, so you want there to, okay, it's fine. Um, so what, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just do a, uh, a, a rough shape of, um, of the, the model. Um, so just to get the dimensions right, I'm just gonna just gonna make this for now. And uh, let's see, uh, let's see your distances. So my reference, where's my reference? Okay. Oh, here. Right. So the reference, the tape that I have is um, is one and a half inch in diameter um, and then so I want to I want to design this uh, model as if um, you know like the, a way that you can the, the user can hold it from here and um, the user can reach it with their film um, the, they can reach the front with their film so let's see <clears throat> this is not a uh, the right method you know to get the dimensions right, but this is just a practice, so I'm just gonna <laughs> measure my own finger. It's uh, three inches, so I'm gonna do three inch, or three iron, and let's see, and this should be fine if that's three inches. Then, uh, then our tape should be somewhere here, and uh, the radius is. What is it? I'm not very good at math. All right. Alright, then it should be bigger, um, as you can see. 
Uh, so we're just gonna move this a little bit higher just to get the shape right. And what you can do, you can actually download a, uh, a model uh, from the website, uh, a hand model or something. Um, and then you can model it based on that hand, you know. So we're just going to do, uh, that's the tip of the, the model. So we're just going to do 25 inches. Um, that's fine for now. <clears throat> All right. Um, so I believe this, sh maybe this should be. I'll have to change the um, the millimeters into inches later. Um, so this is this is this is the layout that we have. It, it looks fine. And let's do a new sketch. And uh, let's start with the top part. Actually, I wanna um, I wanna add a little thing here. Um, so I'm just looking at my own, at my sketch at my um, uh, crappy sketch. Um, all right, then let's, yeah, let's start it though. All right, so this is the, the spill line that I'm using. Um, nothing complicated, it's just like the, it's like the pen tool um, in uh, Illustrator. It's, well, it's kind of similar. It's not exactly like pen tool. Um, you see, you can play with it. Um, and I think I want this to be actually straight. So we're going to do a straight line here and we're going to trim it. So this is, it's called power trim. You can just like trim it like that. And then we want it to be tangent to the straight line. So we're just going to select both of them and we're going to turn on the tangency. Right, looks fine. Uh, so, so I, I I forgot to tell you, but I'm trying to challenge myself to finish this model in uh, um, hopefully in 30 minutes, uh, in under an hour. Let's let's say in under an hour, um, since I'm I'm both talking and uh, and also modeling. Uh, so we're just gonna um, so you're just gonna change the angle here, 45 degrees with the smart dimension tool. Um, and we're gonna do another speed line here. And it goes something like, like this, it's for the contour of your fingers. So let's see. Just gonna go smaller. Here. So you just play with the spill line until you um, you get it right, until you get what you your um, yeah you get what you want. Um, you can add these little uh, spill line points. Is it no? Sorry, the the control polygons. So you have more control over them. Uh, shout out to Professor Chow. Hmm. I suppose this has to go higher, perhaps. All right, we're gonna make this shorter. Uh, oh. Since we had the angle constraint, we couldn't uh, change the dimension of the straight line. So we're just gonna do 15 inches. Uh, yeah, let's do point one. Hmm. All right, it's this constraint here. All right, um, and yeah, let's go point one inches. In oh, point one inches. That's yeah, that's too low. So point fifteen inches. <clears throat> Point twenty five inches. Let's yeah. Let's do. Let's stay with the uh, point twenty five inches. 
so we want this uh, surface to be uh, straight. Uh, we want the line to be straight because uh, the user is going to place it on um, you know on a, on a on a on a flat surface, like a box or something, a paper box or something. Uh, so we want this to be flat, and then I'm going to add a fillet here uh, later, not now. Um, so this is the general shape, I believe. I think. I think it's good. Um, hmm. Let me look at my sketch. Oh, completely forgot about the uh, the thing here. Um, so let's do something like that. Uh, so what I usually like to do, I'm just gonna when I'm unsure of what the uh, what the what, what lines I'm gonna use, I'm, I'll turn on the keep trim entities as a construction geometry. So when you trim it, it's still there, but it, it's not there. You know, it's a construction geometry. So we're gonna turn on the the uh, tangency constraint for that, and also these two. Oops. I don't think we need this here, yeah, right. and we're going to, hmm. let's go. Maybe this uh, is better because it's uh, it's kind of an indicator or, uh, for the for the user to um, to 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 hold hold it like that. Maybe the bump should be a little bump here. <laughs> All right. Well, this is, this this should be good. Um, and this should be about like three inches if I'm not. Oops. Um, oh, so there's this tool. Uh, it's called Measure. If you go to Evaluate and uh, it's Measure. So if you want to measure something, which you will, uh, is uh, uh, yeah, you, you just you just click on two line or two dots, and then uh, you can measure a line, or like you can you know measure uh, from places from one place to another. So uh, it's three inches. All right, that's that's good. Um, <clears throat> so we're just gonna I'm just gonna close it here. All right. So let's turn this off. It looks like one of those, uh, you know, oil canisters. <laughs> All right. So, uh, so the tape is three, almost three quarters of an inch. So we're just gonna go with. Uh, let me see. Uh, an inch, uh, yeah. So the thick the the thickness of the casing would be uh, an inch. So it would be half an inch because we're gonna mirror it later. Um, and that's it. Have a good day, guys. Bye. I'm just kidding. Um, so you know the tessellation quality is really uh, it's really low here. You know it's how uh, like choppy, <laughs> uh, but it's fine. Uh, we we can change that later. I, I actually don't know why that that happened because I didn't I didn't mess with the setting. Um, <clears throat> all right, so let's go for the uh, the inside. That's the casing. Um, so what we're gonna do is that um, actually because we wanted to have a thickness of 0.1 inches. So let's do 0.6 inches. And um, let's see. Okay. So there's this tool called Shell. You can just uh, select on <clears throat> one surface, and then it will show uh, the rest of the model based on that one surface. And uh, let's do point one millimeter. Uh, show preview. Oh, that's not point one, point one inches. Oops, that's that's a lot. <laughs> yeah, we don't want that. Um, let's do oh, five inches. All right, that should be good. Shell outward or shell pre okay. So this is how shell works. Uh, it's quite simple actually. Um, <clears throat> so 
we want the blade to be uh, somewhere here and we want the tape to be somewhere around here you know and um, actually you know actually I forgot to add the fillet here so we're just gonna add a fillet first uh, that's too much of a fillet let's do let's work with millimeter um, Looks very awkward. Uh, maybe we can do the key. In. How long has it been? I don't know. All right. Hmm. That would be pretty uncomfortable. So you see how I'm um, I'm editing the original uh, the original sketch. Um, yeah, I think. I think this is good. Is it good? Wi-Fi. If I move this here, mm -hmm. yeah, let's just uh, stick with this. I'm gonna show it. Um, so you can you can move the, the the timeline bar. I don't know what they call this. Uh, actually, let me see what they call it. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they call. Them. Um, uh, so the 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 feature is not done yet. <clears throat> um, and then when you apply the changes, uh, you can roll it back down, and the fe the feature uh, uh, will be applied to the model based on the changes that you made. Uh, so if you made some if you hear it changes, uh, the feature is going to give you an error and uh, basically your life is over. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know about that. Hmm. Yeah, let's keep it like that. It should be fine. Alright, uh, okay. Um, okay, so let's, uh, let's, let's go to the uh, internals. Actually, this has to be thicker. Uh, so I think I did let's do nope. uh, 0.75 inches. Hmm. I don't know why it's not showing. The shell operation on one of the faces must else I don't think it's too much. Right? Oh it is now it's 0 0.07 or inches. Mm, too much. Uh, there it is. There. What? What's your problem? Uh, time on the face which failed to ch Bruh. It's fine. <laughs> Let me see. It's fine. Let's do 1.51. I really have to change the. Alright, there we go. Um. No, I still think this has to be, you know, kind of less curved. Yeah, yeah. And we should remember that the tape's going to be somewhere there. Alright. <laughs> so, uh, the the next thing you want to do is you want to. Place the, the the cylindrical tape holder thing in there. What the hell? What? Right. I think I had it by accident. All right. Um, so I know that regular tapes don't have uh, an inner radius of this much. <laughs> That's just too much. Uh, so we're just gonna go with a uh, a fictional number. 
of 0.75 inches, you know. Um, let's try that. And let's actually turn this on. So 0.75 inches. Um, so this is the radius, uh, 0.375 inches. And it looks decent. And actually, I don't want it to be exactly there, so I'm just going to move it a little bit into here. All right. Um, so remember, form follows function, right? All right, then. Um, all right, so... Um, okay, so this is the inner diameter or the inner circle of, uh, of the tape. Uh, so the, the cylinder should be a little um, smaller. We're just gonna go with something like that. Let's do eight millimeters, and that should be fine. And oops, I forgot to turn this. All right, so you can turn, you can turn on. Sorry, um, you can turn on <clears throat> for construction feature on uh, some of your um, sketches or some of the lines that you have, and then uh, that means they're there, but they're actually not there. Uh, so we're just gonna. Up to where is it? The surface opposite bumps, opposite bump surface. Um, up to surface. Okay. I don't know why I wasn't. Um, okay, so this is the cylinder, so it has to be merged uh, to the main body. Um, all right, then. All right, the tape's going to be. Somewhere there. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, and uh, so the tape's going to go, uh, it's gonna, uh, it's gonna be dispensed from here. <laughs> so we're just gonna have to do a little cut. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna <clears throat> Uh, offset this uh, zero, and I'm gonna increase this so we have the same uh, the same shape, and we're gonna offset this again. And I think this is good. Let's see. Alright, I think this is good. Um, so we're gonna go with something like that. I, I think it has to. Mm. It's the 30. All right. Uh, so we want to cut that part. This this piece here. Um, that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna close this sketch, and we're gonna do an extrude cut, just a regular extrude cut, and then. So up to surface. <clears throat> so we don't want to cut through the whole thing. We just want to give it a little opening here. So cut through surface. And yeah. so something like this. All right, so the tape's going to get out from here. Uh, right then. <laughs> um, it needs a blade. So, oh, okay. So. One thing um, is that you can sketch on top of a flat surface, like you don't need a plane for it. Um, so that the, the blade's going to be there, and so actually let's add a blade. Um, let's see. So let's do five millimeters. I like whole numbers. And uh, I think actually let's do too much. Let's do three millimeters. 
Now it's a four. So four millimeters, and then uh, as you can see, the the blade has like these little things here. Um, so we're gonna make that as well. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just add another straight line, and then I'm gonna make this one. Uh, I think 75 is right. Point seventy five millimeters, and. Uh, <clears throat> Let's see. So three, seven, four. Uh, hmm. Let's do this here. So this should be forty-five degrees. Yep. That's forty-five degrees. Um, and we can just repeat this pattern. All right. So we can go to linear sketch pattern. And um, okay, um, so I'm not sure how much it is actually. Oh, it's 1.5. All right, it's 1.5 millimeters. Um, so we're just gonna do a bunch until we get it. Um, get it all there. Okay, so this this, this should be fine. And then we're gonna trim these. Um, actually, let's turn. Off the, the um, that feature, the construction feature, and we're gonna trim that, 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 that. that. It's actually kind of fun. Um, and then we're gonna turn the construction feature for this one because we don't need it. Okay, so this should be good. And we're gonna do a little extrusion here. Uh, let's do half a millimeter because they're pretty thin. They have to be thin. Actually, I think it's thinner actually. <laughs> Look at that uh, blade. Alright, so this is pretty. Yeah. Uh, let's do. Yeah. Oops, we don't want it to merge, so we're just going to turn off the merge, uh, merge result option. And. We're gonna add um so I'm thinking this can be one okay yeah so it has to be attached to the to the plastic part somehow right um so let's let's do that let's uh, do an offset here um no five millimeter all right um let's do again one millimeter that's actually Two little, two little more. Okay. And let's see if we have to do any weird things. Um. Yeah, we do have to do some weird things. <laughs> okay. Um. So it's it's. I suppose this can be attached to this one here. Or I can't. Let's see. So we can, and we can turn this off, and let's do, alright, okay, so let's see, if we don't have to do, uh, don't want to do any weird Thing, uh, which I still think I have. Actually, I have to do some weird surfacing things, which I really don't like. Okay, so 
I guess we have to do some weird surfacing things. Um, so we're just going to do that. Uh, let's do... Let's do mouth surface. Not like mouth surface. So this makes a straight surface based on the uh, the lines that you gave get, uh, get, gave to him or to, to it. Um, how deep is this? It's zero point zero one. Right, zero point whatever that is. And I'm just gonna mm, let's see. It actually doesn't matter because we can just trim it, but I wanna get it right. Um because I don't wanna do any extra things. No, twenty seven. Let's do two seven five. Let's do seven nine. All right, that should be fine. You know. That should be fine. Um, so we're just gonna merge these two together, and there we go. We have a blade-looking thing. Um. So we're just gonna make two holes here, or like the screws. And well, it doesn't matter where it is. I actually want it to be in the center here. So we're just nope, not that. This one. Uh, zero. Okay, and still five millimeters. And there we go. And uh, let's do some five. I think it's, I think it's good. Yes. And we're gonna do a extra extra cut. Can you go? No. Okay. Um, let's do one. Uh, so they're quite tiny. The screws. Let's do one. So we want to cut through both of them, so we cut through both of them, and that's where the screws um, would be located. Actually, it has to be smaller. Alright, there we go. And let's do some fillets. I'm almost running out of time. Uh, let's do curvature continuous, nope, circular, All right, circular works. Okay. And then let's do a screw looking thing. It doesn't have to be anything special because I am running out of time. And I'm just gonna straight this a little bit. Um, hmm. Actually, let me see my French. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Uh, one millimeter, nope, that's too much. That's too, 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 too much. Okay. That should be fine. Yeah, find one more And we do not want to merge actually. It's the point. Five millimeters. Alright. So we don't want to merge it. Um, and then let's do another offset surface. Um, we wanna we wanna cut it, you know, just to make it look like it's a it's a real thing. Um so the other no. So the other side and yeah, there we go. And there we have it. It's a cylinder. Ooh, pretty cylinder. Alright. And we want the, extru the, the screw to go all the way through. So let's do it. And I think it was like half a millimeter. No, or was it one? I think it was one millimeter, right? So we do point, or point 0.8 millimeter. Okay. And the only thing we want to merge, we want it to be merged to, is the the head, the screw head. Alright, should be fine. And um, we're just gonna do a fillet on top of it. 
to make it uh, look round. Ooh, roundy cylinder. <laughs> um, the sun is right in, into my eyes. And we're gonna do a little cross. Bi directional. When you turn on the bi directional, it, uh, it'll give you the option to uh, offset one line from the two sides. So that's um, so that's a good thing. And we're just I'm just gonna go like this, and I'm gonna make this actually. Let's see, let's do twenty five boy, and let's find the roll. Mm, no, nope. actually. There should be a line here. Where is it? Yes, okay. No. There we go. Alright. We want it to be here. Okay. And we want these to be parallel and equal. Okay. And let's make them bigger. And we want them to don't move. You darn lines. Okay. Doesn't matter. Alright. Let's make that for construction. Okay. And let's cut into So much, come on! So much. But this is quite a tiny, very tiny screw. Um, let's change the fillet. That's way too long. Yeah, that's very tiny. That's fine. Okay. <laughs> All right. So that's that's there. And let's see. Um. Uh, let's see if we can add a chamfer to it. To here. And let's do it. Hmm. I don't know. I think it works right here. Yeah. It's going to give it a little bit of um, you know, sharpness. This is not the best way to do it, to model a blade. Uh, but since I'm running out of time, that's what I'm going to do. I'm just gonna select all these edges here. Okay, I actually like that. <laughs> right. um, so this is the cylinder and there's gonna be so the cylinders are gonna go into each other. Um, this actually this whole yeah this this whole thing would be open. So for the user to just open the plastic, put the tape in there, and then just close it. Um, so let's see. Um, I don't know. Oh, I see. Uh, <laughs> two little, I can two little ones, right? About two sneeze. Um, and so, you know, well, uh, I wanted to uh, to go 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 uh, down in there. Um, Oh no, that has to be on the other side. Yeah, okay. Um, okay, so you can go to offset from surface, and so your surface is there, and we're gonna go offset from surface, so it's not up to surface. 
So let's do let's do one millimeter. Uh, that's too little. Let's do three millimeters. Okay. Uh, reverse. Oh, okay, that this should go. So the other cylinder would go into this, and the tape would be actually um, go on top of this one. So this has to be. Um, it has to be uh, just a little longer. And move. Right there. So the tape's going to be on top of the mirror. And um, let's see. I will save it. I haven't saved it. This is not good. You, know, you have to save it there. Right? Just gonna save the dispenser. Save the dispenser. Okay. Um, so we have uh, the main body. I'm just gonna mirror it now. Actually, before um, I mean, before mirroring, I need to do some fillets on top of it. Um, I think I think this is it because it's a it's actually simple um, product. Um, yeah, it doesn't have anything special to it, so I'm just gonna, alright, I'm just gonna fill it and then I'm just gonna mirror it, um, oh, well, I have to cut it first, uh, so, so, uh, maybe, so they, the, the, the way the user is putting the tape, um, uh, on the inside is actually from here, um, hmm. So I had to close my blinds. Um, this the sunlight was back in line. Um, so, so as I said, the user is going to uh, be putting the tape um, in there through here. So it goes from like here, like that. Um, so we wanted to be kind of empty. Um, So we can go with the the same line here. Uh, yeah, I think it's good. Okay. So you can make the two lines parallel, or make the new line parallel to an existing edge, um, straight edge. Alright, so these are both parallel to each other, and they're gonna be. Cutting through it so it doesn't matter. Up to surface and cut. So we have this actually, maybe it has to have a little bit of edge offset from surface. Alright, that's good. So three millimeters. All right. So the tape would be placed into the dispenser from there. And I think it's a little too much. Okay. Then. Um. So let's let's add the fillets. I think I already ran out of time. I'm not sure. Uh, let's do two molars just to give it a generous fillet. And I'm going to have to change that actually uh, because uh, see how it's in interfering with the fillet. Um, okay, you don't want to apply the fillets here because you want to mirror that um, you can if you want if you want to have a um, a seam line so two millimeters and, uh, okay let's see let's do evaluate 
1.02 inches. Okay. So let's do bottom from surface 0.02 inches. Okay, that's good. Okay then, and we also have to change this. So the, the the sketches from here. So you see how it's it's turning a mustard yellow. It's because uh, we don't have that constraint anymore because you changed um, the surface. All right. So it's giving us uh, some earth of what is it for? Oh, you also have to change this. that we need to fix and these two are missing that's okay because we don't have them anymore um delete and delete okay all right so we have this um just gonna save it and uh let's do a small fillet a small fillet uh, on top of here just to add the seam line. So it will be all the way there and yeah. I think it's too much. Yes. It should be better. Okay. So this is fine. And uh, let's narrow it. Yeah, that's very. Um, so we're just gonna select all three bodies, and we're gonna mirror it. this this one here. And we're not gonna merge the solids, but we can merge them later. Uh huh. Interesting looking thing we have here. <laughs> I suppose I suppose we can actually make this a little taller. Um, so okay. It's probably gonna miss oh didn't miss out anything. Just that. Um For sure. What? <laughs> this is the best I could do in um, in under an hour. <laughs> this is okay. Uh, so let's see. So I'm just cropping it to see what's going on here <laughs> because because <laughs> we don't want this. Uh, we don't want this here. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna crop it. I mean, uh, cut it. I should cut it, um, and then I'm gonna rebuild it again. Just that body. So this selects the bodies that you wanna cut. Yeah, just okay. There we go. Alright. So, okay. So we have this, and let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, and um, so we want this to. Kind of lock together, so very well, my friend. 
Um, it's an extruded and actually, hold on. So now, wait, Ooh. I have to cut all the way through here. And now we're gonna extrude this. And we go offset from surface and we go five millimeters. Or let's do two, three, four, five, three millimeters. Uh, we don't want what well, we do want to merge it, but to this half of the body, and and then to that, and we're gonna do. Nope, hold up. We're gonna cut it, or we're gonna just like uh, make a hole in there, like a donut hole. Twenty millimeter. So on the this. Okay. Looks very strange. <laughs> Doesn't look very strange. Hmm. Hmm. Actually. Actually. Very, very strange. <laughs> All right, so, um, uh, just doesn't look cool. <laughs> um, and, uh, just a small radius. Also, let's do the tape. Um, um, you can draw on the plane, actually. Let's do one more. There. Um, points. How much would that be? Uh, Alright. Oh, yeah, it's 875. So okay. I don't want to merge it. And. This is our tape. <laughs> I'm just going to move it a little bit. Um, just to make it look like. kind of random and like you know just like hang there and I'm gonna turn on the other solid body Let's do a 3D sketch, a spline, and we're gonna go to here, maybe, and then like that. This is going to be the tape, and these two should be placed on here, on the plane. Oh. All right. Okay. This should be. All right. That's because. All right. That's good. And the next one. Nope. So 
the next one should be somewhere up there and then Actually, this has to be tangent. Alright, let's change the, the initial one. Um, because we don't need this, this has to be tangent in the tape. Is this room here? <laughs> Stupid leg. This is point three seven five inches. And this one as well. Point three seven five inches. Alright, then we're just gonna do a uh, surface thing. Uh, suppose we can do loft surface. This one, I think I don't need this, and I'm gonna go two and a half. Okay, okay. and we're gonna make it um, thicken it a little bit, just a tiny bit. Uh, yes, actually. So this should be it, guys. Um, oh, before I leave, you want to combine these two together, add, and then we want to combine these two together, add, and we should have one. Yeah, that's good. All right. So uh, this this should be it. Um, it's, uh, it's gonna look better in Keyshot. Um, mm -hmm. So I'm just going to change the color of um, these bodies so it would be easier for me later um, to um, to assign different materials to them in Keisha. I should have selected body weight, it's fine. <sighs> Alright, let's do that. Um, appearance and body, there we go. Body, there we go, okay. and. This one should have a different color than that one. Um, yeah. Alright, let's do appearance. Let's do thicken. And let's do white. And for this one here, we go to appearance, let's go to boss extrude, and let's do like a gray looking thing. Alright, and for the metal, let's do appearance, body, and we do black and for these two here steam appearance body that one and that one as well it's still just green okay. so this is it people took a while um 
I'm gonna upload it today. I'm gonna upload this video today, and then uh, I'm gonna do the key shot uh, process tomorrow, and then I'm gonna upload the key shot tomorrow, and then we have the post process in Photoshop. Uh, so make sure to to come back and check it out. And uh, thank you. If you have any questions, just let me know down in the comments. Uh, if this video taught you something, anything, little things, big things, I don't know. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe so I can make more videos like this. And uh, this should be it. Yeah, let me have. Uh, let me let me know if you have any questions on uh, how I can improve the the videos. If they're too long or if they're too short, I don't know. Just just let me know. All right. Have a good day. And bye.